Genesis 1 26 then God said let us make man in our image in our likeness and let him rule over the fish of the sea and over all the birds of the air over the livestock over all the creatures over all the creatures and move along the ground so God created man in his own image and in the image of God he created him male and female he created them my brothers my sisters we are fearfully and wonderfully made not only as a race of people as a as a as a as creatures under God's blessed beautiful universe but individually we are all precious we have been made for a purpose we have been made with a set of skills and opportunities we have been put into an environment God has planted us each and every one of us in our environment to make us a blessing in this place I encourage you don't look down on yourself don't look down on the ground but look up to heaven the creator of heaven and earth the one who has made you fearfully and wonderfully with a great and deep purpose he will tell you he will enable you he will equip you he will train you and don't think for some of us that we are illegitimate mistakes that we are bastards no we are not yes our parents sometimes some of our parents might have supposedly made mistakes over us but no God does not make mistakes and if there are so called human mistakes God can transform that into something magnificent and beautiful just like a musician when you're playing in a band and one of your young friends makes a mistake the matured the seasoned musician can transform that mistake can cover that mistake that that loss of a beat or wrong note that can be hidden away and it, the whole music can continue in fact sometimes even be transformed into something very beautiful so don't think that you are a mistake you are not a mistake my brothers my sisters there's no mistakes in your life the only mistakes are the ones we make but when you turn to the lord and you look up to him and cry out to him he can transform us he can transform those mistakes into something magnificent the word of god says in jewel i will restore to you the years the locusts have consumed yes there are some things that the locusts may have consumed time may have consumed people may have consumed you myself have consumed and wasted but when you turn to the lord he can transform it he can make it magnificent and beautiful and through those lessons you will live a full life and be a blessing to many god bless you brothers and sisters have a wonderful day